Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Dave from Timber Time Outdoors. And in this video, we are gonna talk about this Hobie Compass. Um, I've spent the last seven months planning and executing a fishing kayak build that you're gonna to wanna to see. So stay with us, guys. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day now. All right, here's what's gonna happen in this video. Two things. Number one, we're gonna do a fun little assembly montage of me at hyperspeed, kind of putting some things together here. And then we're gonna start at the bow and work our way to the stern, kind of briefly talk about each one of these accessories, kind of how it fits into a fishing build. Um, I might mention you know, what is essential and what is kind of a nice to have. I did that in a previous video, which I will link right here, where I basically talk about all the stuff I purchased. So uh, let's get right to it, guys. All right, starting at the very, very tip of the boat here up on the bow. This is a, uh, a nose protector, just, you know, kind of protects the plastics. A lot of times I'm fishing some walleye lakes that are very rocky, so coming into shore. Um, this is by Burley Pro, it just glues on, it is awesome. And then this right here is uh, basically a fish cooler. Uh, I suppose you could put beer in here too if you wanted to, but uh, this is by Magellan and um, just sits up here on the bow. So when you catch a fish, you slide it in and uh, it stays cool rather than using a stringer. All right, working our way back a little bit here. As you can see, I've got a way to film my fishing. Um, probably have something up on my head and then this one shining back on myself so I can, can get some good video for you of me catching walleyes, hopefully. That is not easy to do, by the way. Um, filming catching walleyes or catching walleyes. Um, I've got a tether right here. So this is for your pedal drive. Um, you know, these pedal drives are over a thousand bucks. Make sure you got it attached. It just takes one, uh, you know, roll over and away it goes to the bottom of the lake. So get the tether, it's super cheap. Um, I love that. I've got two um, rod holders here and these are the uh, Yak Attacks and they just pop off. They're really adjustable. I think these are called the Omegas. Um, love those, they come on and off quickly. Um, I've got a Hummingbird Helix 7. Um, this is not a side, side imaging uh, unit. It's just a regular unit. I use it for ice fishing. And then I've got a place here to uh, hold my phone. Um, you can see here we've got the rubber nets. So I got one on each side. Um, what else can I show you here? All right, I've got the, uh, the Hobie mini basket here. Um, it's got my sunscreen. Um, it's got a bunch of tethers on here. This is a little nipper, um, just a knife, fish pliers. Um, I like this thing. It sits up on the, uh, the H rails. So you can see I have H rails installed on both sides. Um, what I did is I actually used um, the, the T tracks. So I installed a T track on the back and I've got a T track on the front. And so I can adjust these uh, slightly forward or back if I want to. But I love the H rails. Um, I have tons of accessories that go on here. You can see I've got the cup holder. I know the compass comes with a cup holder kind of molded in, but it doesn't work very well. So I've got the Hobie one there. Um, I did the swap out of the, uh, the hatches. So, um, you know, it comes with the round hatch. I bought the rectangular hatch. I actually did the vertical. Um, you can do a horizontal. I think most people do the horizontal in here. I just happen to like the vertical one because I like to stand up. And, um, and so I've got the round hatch up front and I've got the vertical hatch here. Um, inside, of course, we'll just have, you know, tackle and just little things um, that you need to get at quick, but that's, you know, kind of right between your legs. Um, the Hobie seat, uh, new seat for last year, I believe, uh, super comfortable. Um, it pops out, you know, just snaps in. I've got my uh, inflatable um, PFD here. So working our way backwards, let's take a look at uh, the paddle holder and the anchor. All right, this is the paddle holder by Yak Attack. It's called the double header. Um, I like it because it gets the paddle away from uh, the boat and it's not, you know, bungeed on. So if I need to get at it quick, I can just snap it on, snap it off. Um, you know, you don't use the paddle that much. Pedal drive does most of the work, but every now and then you need a paddle, get a push off, whatever. So um, I wanted to add that here. Um, so that worked out really well. Let's take a look at um, some stuff here uh, on the seat and towards the back. All right, guys, let's uh, take a look at the seat bag. You know, I, I talked about this in that other video. It just sits on the back of your seat, um, maybe holds a jacket. It's not super big, but um, 
you know, you never know when you need need that jacket, you know, weather changes. Um, I've got the H crate. In the other video I talked about um, Yak Attacks crates, they're awesome. You can use a milk crate. Um, I actually bought the top for it here, so I have tackle and just, you know, miscellaneous. This is kind of your catch-all, um, you know, for gear. And of course, it's got the H rails, which I love. And uh, this here is my um, Rail Blaza flag, because I am scared of power boats running me over out there. As you can see, that just snaps in place. Works pretty well. And then right here, I'm a, I'm a live bait guy, so I like to have a bubbler for my minnows. And um, so I've just got that bungeed in here and uh, I can reach back and grab a, a fat head or whatever I need. Um, just sits right behind there. So um, that works pretty well. I know a lot of guys just use plastics um, and I use plastics too, but um, sometimes fish want to eat fish or leeches. So bubbler, H crate. Um, oh, on the back, I've got the loader. Um, so you know, the rudder is great on this thing. You've got a kind of a rip cord that drops it down, but if you want to load it up on your car, up in the back of your truck, you do need to have that to protect the rudder. When you tip the front up, it'll scrape your rudder. So don't forget to buy that accessory. All right, last, let's talk about the anchor wizard. So I've got a five pound mushroom anchor. Um, I've got the uh, little carriage here mounted off the back. I've also got the, um, an anchor trolley, which I'll, I'll demonstrate here. And I'm going to do a separate video on this, this whole setup on how it works. There's a few videos out there, but um, I'm going to try to simplify those videos into one. It works really well. Um, but anyway, anchor wizard, five pound mushroom anchor. And then I've got my crank here right on the side. Uh, works, works super good. So you just let it down and away it goes. Now with this trolley, I can then bring this anchor to the front if I want to. So pretty slick. Crank it up. And that's all there is to the anchor wizard. So I don't anchor all that much, but I didn't want to be messing around with weeds. So spent the money on the anchor wizard and the anchor trolley. Um, by the way, never anchor off the side, you'll flip over. So you get anchor off the front or the back, depending on the wind. All right, that's all the accessories. We're gonna do one more thing. Um, we're gonna break this baby down on hyperspeed. So I told you that I love this boat because it's so light. Well, it isn't very light right now. <laughs> it's way over 100 pounds with all this gear on it. So in order for me to put it up on the roof of my um, trailer or car or in the back of the truck, I gotta break it down. So we're gonna roll some um, high-speed footage of me breaking it down, so let's go. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned a few things. Please hit that like button, helps out the channel. We're gonna wrap things up. We're gonna get out fishing. We're gonna get this baby loaded up. So remember, like, subscribe, send it to your friends, and remember everybody, keep it in the timber. Bye-bye.